The opening day of the Volta au Algarve. Starting off in La Gouche, heading off east and then doubling back to finish in Portimao after a run of 189.5 kilometres. Well, some nerves on the day, mainly due to the wind, which started to pick up and intensify with gusts up to 40 kilometres per hour. Once they dealt with the Category 3 test and then the intermediate sprints started to unwind, it was a turn down to the coast that would cause the nerves. Canal from Burgos, Cesar Veloso from Autum General, Hugo Nunes from Radio Popular, and indeed Jon Ilitsari from Caio Rural were setting the pace in the breakaway. The gap no more than two and a half minutes, but as the pack started to close in, some bumps and bruises were to happen. Davide Ballerini, one of those that uh, took a tumble, wasn't to be the first or indeed the last. Well, as the breakaway was caught, Delco started to roll the dice, thinking about Grosso. De Koenig were marking everything out on behalf of Sam Bennett. Kasper Askreen, the Danish champion, doing a job. Ryan Gibbons out of position by another touch of wheels for UAE Team Emirates. And the big turn, when that came and the wind direction changed, everyone wanted to be up towards the front and they wouldn't all fit. Goika Chair went for a, a long ranger for Uskadel Uskadi, but the time trialist wound straight back in by Ines Grenadiers, who were working to keep Ethan Hayter in a good position. Well, the big roundabouts that were the main worry were right at the very end. In fact, one with uh, just after the Flamme Rouge was the main concern. It was strung out yet again, and yet more tumbles there were. Fabio Jakobsen just helping Shane Archibald back to his feet. He on the radio to tell Sam Bennett he was going to be short as far as the lead out was concerned. Well, they worked very hard. There were a few more splits out there, one of which caught out Pascal Ackerman, so he was out of the frame. And it really looked like De Koenig's party, albeit with an interloper sitting in from Cairo Rural. Gonzalez was on the radio wondering where Abbasatori was. Round that final roundabout, doing three quarters of it, and De Koenig absolutely nailed it. Sam Bennett was left some space by the barriers and was not going to let that go wanting. He went for that. Intermarche wanted Danny Van Poppel, then speared into the centre of the road, and it looked like a two up sprint between the pair of them. Abra Story got himself into a decent position for Cairo Oral to round out the podium, but Sam Bennett took the day. Exhausted, he said, he was by the pace of it and the drama. Not on full form just yet. He's feathering that in, of course, for the Tour de France itself. But even an off form Sam Bennett is good enough in this field to take the day. And he did. Not only winning the stage, of course, but as it's stage one. Also owning the yellow leaders jersey and, of course, the points jersey to boot. Anil Koski, the Polish champion, just finishing behind the podium. Leitao, Morkov, Dreisnes looking good. Rui Oliveira likewise, but Sam Bennett in his pomp. And I'm sure glad to lead this race as we head to the mountains tomorrow. There'll be another sprint day into Tavira on Friday.